Yeah. It's the honest opinion. Shit, New Orleans is a hundred times more gangster than these than these Baton Rouge niggas. You feel know what I'm saying? A lot of killing go on in Baton Rouge. Don't get me wrong. Somebody died down there every day. But shit, for everybody that died in Baton Rouge, they probably got three niggas dying in New Orleans. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that's crazy. I mean, you know, Baton Rouge is really rough, but this year, New Orleans, the, the murder rate is, is is up 48% or some shit like that. Like, yeah, man. But it's crazy. I mean, you know, something in the water in Louisiana, man. All y'all niggas crazy, you ask me. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the New Orleans. That's the, uh, I mean, that's the, uh, fuck, man, I forgot what I was about to say. Yeah, I forgot what I was about to say. Oh, that's them young, I was about to say, that's them young niggas, man. Them young niggas everywhere wigging out. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Them young niggas don't give a fuck no more, dog. At all. Right. Well, I mean, would you, would you say the culture is the same in, 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 in both of these cities, or is it a totally different culture? Totally different culture, you hear me? But I, I fuck with that city, though, you hear me? I fuck with a whole lot of niggas from New Orleans, you feel what I'm saying? Like, the long way. Everyday homeboys, you feel what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, that's that's crazy that you know for a city to be so close that they're so different. Right. What's the, like? What is what is what is different though? What's different? New Orleans got. Don't get me wrong. Baton Rouge got grimy niggas, right? New Orleans got grimy snake niggas just like Baton Rouge. But the Baton Rouge grimy and snake niggas, they had it and they had that shit good as a motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? They can hide that shit good as a motherfucker. New Orleans niggas. They can't really hide it. You feel what I'm saying? They can't hide it. Like, like in Baton Rouge, a nigga could show you some shit. Like, boom, let's say, for instance, let me just say this. Let's say, boom, you was my homeboy. You you, you from BR, and I got another homeboy from that city. If you from Baton Rouge, boom, and let's say I got a gun, and you know where I be hiding the gun at. You feel what I'm saying? If you from Baton Rouge, you might let me hide that bitch for a week straight. And don't, don't, don't touch that bitch. See, a New Orleans nigga, he gonna get that bitch. As soon as you put that bitch down... He gonna get that. He might kill you after he go get that bitch, but he gonna get that bitch instantly. He came with you. Feel what I'm saying? The Baton Rouge nigga got a little more patience than the New Orleans nigga. It's, it's, it's. So, I mean, I mean, but what, what's the number one cause of violence in Baton Rouge though? Cause I mean, y'all don't gang bang, right? So what's the number one cause? The number one cause? Well, everybody know that they, they got a lot of envy and hatred going on in this city. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of envy, a lot of hatred. You feel what I'm saying? Like niggas be killing niggas for no reason. Well, let me rephrase that. Niggas don't be killing niggas for no reason. It'll be some shit like this. You hear me? Like a nigga who got honcho status, you hear me? A nigga who a boss will be hating on another nigga who got the same honcho boss status as him. And the nigga who went killed him, went killed him because his big dog wanted the nigga dead. So the nigga who killed him ain't killing him for no reason. But the big dog have been, been hating on his man, had hatred towards him for no reason about a bitch or something. You hear me? They might be fucking the same bitch or something. You feel what I'm saying? Some fluke ass shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like shit, you know. And just 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 the natural like that rap beef shit, niggas getting clapped up behind that. You feel what I'm saying? Like just all that kind of shit. You remember that beef shit? That shit niggas don't play with that beef shit in Baton Rouge, you feel what I'm saying? Right, straight up. What can we expect from you for the rest of this year? What'd you say? What can we expect from you for the rest of this year? Uh for the rest of this year. I got that Shellwood baby mixtape by the drop. You know, I just dropped the single off my mixtape, the Shellwood baby. I got the Shellwood Baby mixtape by the drop. I got Fresh Prince of Shellwood by the drop. 